Aquarius, what's going on, my loves? Um, thank you to everyone that's liked, shared, subscribed. If you guys have purchased a reading or donated to my page, I'm so grateful. If you have not subscribed, please do so that you know when I'm here. Reading resonates. Um, go on and hit me with the like button. I would greatly appreciate it. For those of you that are just now finding me, welcome. And if you guys are returning, welcome back, my loves. Let's see what's going on for you for the month of October. Um, let's see what's in your energy here. Okay, so some of you may be dealing with some issues, Aquarius, with low self-esteem. And it can be because every time you turn around, something else is knocking you left or, or right, right? It's like always something. Um, we have negative beliefs about oneself, lack of confidence, feeling badly about oneself. So, right? So you could be feeling bad about some decisions that you've made too, um, Aquarius. All right, spirit may be telling you, hey, it's time for you to get out. It's time for you to start dating. OK, um, or it could be that uh, recently you started dating someone that is triggering you. That's not going to be for everyone, but I have to put it out here since it just came out now with this energy. Someone here may have been seeing someone. OK, and you may have uh, felt like this person would be someone that you can invest time, energy, love, care into. But then again, you may have met someone else at the same time with this date card right um and now you're triggered because you don't know which person to choose okay that's not for everyone but i have put that out there okay let's continue so for october someone may be dealing with who's right for me who's wrong for me what do i need to do who shows up in my life and actually adds um the element of teamwork that wants to be invested in the things that I'm doing, that wants to be there, wants to listen to my grievances, wants to um, tap in when I need help, right? Instead of me asking, this person is always there and willing to be a shoulder to cry on or someone that, you know, uh, has my back in all ways. Someone may be craving this, right? Um, there's a lack mentality with this person that's coming through this reading because somebody feels like they've done something to where they now don't have everything that they've needed and at one point in time okay these guilt wounds because this is what we have coming through here um someone feels like they've done some things um that may have sabotaged uh, a situation relationship you know with someone else here okay I feel like someone may have met someone and uh, may have either turned their back on the situation. Yep, thank you, Spirit. We have separation. May have turned their back on someone um, or may have gotten themselves stuck in a family way. Um, but they want to communicate with someone and tell them, you know, everything that they were deceptive about because they don't want this person to walk away from them forever. OK, so someone here is realizing, you know what? I messed up. Right. I'm in separation from someone um, that I had a good time with. I may have dated this person. This person always showed up for me. Right. I wasn't in my normal lack mentality um, when I was with this person because I felt like I did have everything I needed. Now I'm in a lack mentality to where I'm triggered all the time. My self-esteem is low. I have guilt wounds as well. Right. I don't want to say sorry, you know, because I'm tired of saying sorry, right? Um, but I'm also not setting boundaries of uh, maybe keeping myself isolated from other people the way that I should be. So coming through this reading, guys, is that somebody is separated from someone they care about that they may have met while they're in a family situation, okay? So someone had no choice but to be deceptive in their eyes instead of communicating what the truth was. Because yeah, they can't tell the person that they're with that they're, they're caring about someone else and they can't tell the person that they just met that they're in a commitment, right? So someone is triggered. Someone has triggered themselves because this is what it really is, right? Because you put yourself in this situation, okay? Um, Aquarius, if this is your energy, this is your energy. 
Um, but if this is not your energy, this is someone coming through your energy that's thinking about you or that has went through this with you. Okay. Now, someone may have said, you know what? I got to focus on my family situation, even though I'm out here in these streets and I'm doing my numbers, right? Whether they're masculine or feminine. But that doesn't mean that I don't care about, you know, um, someone that's out here in the street. And I may have gave them the idea that they would have more of me than what they have. Yeah, I made things unrealistic. Yeah, I gave them a delusion, right? But I had to do what I had to do, you know, to be able to to get my um, my way. I have my way with this person, right? To Even though I cared about them, I was really thinking about, you know, my own uh, interests, my own life, um, and how it will be turned upside down. If the person that I'm with finds out that I was seeing somebody else here, right, they'll be discontent, right? They'll be resentful and they'll make my life miserable. But the person that I was with was truly valuable, okay, right? They don't want this person, whoever they are, they don't want the person that they're sharing a home with to take their money, okay? This person may be uh, well off. This person could uh, have a good job and they could feel like, yeah, I'm not going to jeopardize uh, my home situation because this person will take from me, okay? So intuitively, you guys know what I'm talking about. Intuitively, you guys know who I'm speaking about. Spirit says, okay, right? You're talking about whoever was the person that put that nourishing, loving, caring energy on you. And someone here, you know, um, may have devoted their time to, to a family situation, right? They're, now they're being controlled in, right? This is a masculine energy here, whether you're feminine or masculine coming through. Someone here is being controlled in a family situation, okay? Right? And they may be longing, right? Longing for a soulmate energy that they're no longer with. Um, they may now see that soulmate energy for um, being the love that they... Um, have desired, but they just really couldn't see it at the time. And someone is in a mental fortress in their mind because their mind is racing. They're thinking about this person um, and how things could have been different, right? I feel like this is like coulda, coulda, woulda, shoulda energy coming through here. Okay, so one is like, oh, wow, you know, how did this happen? Why did this have to go down like this? I wish this would have would have been like this. I wish I could have. I wish I would have. Right? Yep. Sun card is here. Someone may have kids somewhere and may be in a situation um, because of said kids. Right? Or someone may have found out that someone was having a baby too. Right? We got this horse. We got this child on this horse. Right? Things had to be unrealistic to someone. Um, that someone cared about because they couldn't tell them the truth. Yeah, how am I going to tell this person that I'm with, that I've been dating or I've been seeing and spending time with, that I, I have a baby on the way? I can't do that. I can't do that, right? I feel guilty enough that this is even happening, but I can't do that. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. The sun card is the illumination card, guys, right? So someone was afraid of something being illuminated to someone that they cared about, right? So what do they do? Right? They're not going to tell the truth, which is what they were supposed to be doing. Okay? They're not going to do that. Right? So they weighed their options. What What can I do? What is my choice here? Right? How can I fix this? How can I go forward? How can I make this all go away? Um, yeah, they disconnect themselves or separate themselves from the person that they, they care about. And they stay in a family situation. Okay? Um, I feel like someone here... You know, they feel like they chose wrong or they feel like they walked into like an ambush. But this is what someone chose. OK, now I understand that someone's in a family situation. I understand that you feel like you, you know, you have to do what you got to do. Um, but someone here was also out. And while they have or they knowingly knew that they had a family situation, they were actually connecting with other people, too. Right now, for me, the Ten of Swords card, um, it, it's it's self-explanatory, right? Someone uh, was betrayed. Someone had, um, you know, um, stabs in their backs, blah, blah, blah. But I feel like this person did it to themselves, okay? 
This is every time that this person, each sword that's in this person's back was put in their back by themselves. Why? Because this is their karma, right? You cannot go in this world and connect with people and sell them a dream and uh, make them feel like you're going to be there for them, be available to them, and then pull back your energy, right? I'm sure that the divine had a way of showing this person, and it may have been in multiple things happening. Each sword here, the 10 swords, was thing after thing after thing that the universe kept throwing at this person to show them, hey, I'm trying to wake you up. I'm trying to show you that this is not what you should be doing. I keep having things come at you in a negative light so that you can do an about face, so that you can stop what you're doing, so that you can understand, right? Sever the tie that you need to sever and go on about your way. But instead, this person, they just put the nail in the coffin, all right? So they did this to themselves. Spirit tried to warn them. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. We know you have options, uh, but you don't want to hurt people. You don't want to be unkind in any way. Okay? So now this person is trying to manifest. This person wants the person that they're not in contact with. Right? But Spirit is going to give them a tower moment. Spirit is going to give them a tower moment. Right? You cannot, okay, mistreat someone or, or um, give them an illusion. Uh, and then when spirit finally gets this person away from you and on the right track for their life, you cannot try to manipulate their energy again. Spirit is saying, you know what? I told you to leave this person alone because you weren't ready to be with them. You still had a connection over here that you were not trying to get rid of. So now I'm going to show you another way, right? Because the tower card is really that, right? It's the F around and find out card from the universe, right? I gave you every option to do blah, blah, blah. And since you haven't done it, then I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you, you know, this hard option that you have no choice but to accept. So someone is going to be dealing with this, right? So the minute they try to use their vices to manifest someone back into their life after they have went off and had kids and done things with other people, spirit is going to step in and teach this person the lesson. Okay, this is what's coming through. Okay, so if this is your energy, Aquarius, um, you know, I, I apologize, but this is what's coming through. But if this is not your energy, is someone in your energy? Bottom of the deck, we have restriction. This is what the, the divine is going to do with this tower moment. It's going to put restrictions on someone. They're going to feel like they're backed in, into a corner. They're going to feel like a victim. They're going to feel a lot of anxiety and helplessness and hopelessness. And Spirit said, you know what? I try not to do it, but you're forcing my hand. Okay? So someone here needs to understand what's going on around them. Okay? Be, be in the moment. Understand what Spirit is trying to tell you. Pay attention to everything. Signs, synchronicities. Um, pay attention to your dreams as well. Okay? If this is um, where I leave you guys... Um, Unless you guys are going to see other readings of mine, I hope you do. Um, I send you all the utmost love and light. If anyone needs a personal reading, make sure that you get it this month because um, I'm running a special. The one question and three question readings are discounted for this this month. They're discounted by $15 each. And um, the sale ends October 31st, 1159. All right. Take care.